What's up guys, this is CJ McFarland. I'm here at Max Strength and Performance with my brother, the owner, Mac McFarland. Uh, we're about to get in a max effort lower body workout. We're gonna max out on the bow bar. We'll go with, um, I'll probably end up doing some single ply work and then working into multi-ply stuff and Max will do pretty much the same. Uh, just working up to a heavy one rep max and then we got a bunch of accessories to follow. So follow along, it'll be fun. So I'm gonna go and put my knee sleeves on. These are the Mark Bell Strong Sleeves. They're super awesome, uh, nice and thick. They're gonna help give my knees a little bit more warm, especially as we're approaching this uh, higher weight. And then once I get to about 600, then I'll probably start go ahead and wrapping my knees instead of wearing knee sleeves for a little, uh, a little more support, some additional support. So that's four plates at a quarter, but keep in mind this bar actually, so this isn't, this would typically be four to five, but this bar is, it's 52 and a half, right? Yeah. This bar is 52 and a half, so that's 462.5 pounds. Woo. All right, this is my last working set with single ply briefs. So what I have on is Inzer um, power pants, and they're just, they're really just like minimal support. Uh, this is 552 and a half. So after this, what I'm gonna do is we'll take off the 25, put a plate, and then I'm gonna put my Predator briefs on. All right, let's get it. six plates on the bar. I'm going to put my Enzer Predator briefs on. So these are uh, multi-ply briefs. With these, I learned a little trick when visiting Elite FTS. For any of you powerlifters out there that use uh, multi-ply briefs, you need to get one of these bad boys right here. So I believe it's like a something to pull turf or carpet with, yeah. right? Carpet puller. So it's a carpet puller. You can get it off of. I ordered mine off Home Depot.com. They're like 15 bucks. But you save, you enhance the lifespan of your briefs by not having to tug the brief on the J cup and rip a hole in the side of it. All you gotta do. so much better than having to use your fingers to hold on to it on the J cup. Save your hands a little bit. And you just do both sides. 
slides. They slide right on. Just like that. And then as I progress in my sets, then I'll also uh, put the back, the back part of it on there, sit into it a little bit more. Kind of hugs the butt a little bit more, so gives you a little more support. <laughs> Come on. Come on, get tight. Let's go. Good. Big breath, come on, Matt. Let's go. There you go. Good. There you go. All right, so this is 642 and a half, loaded on the bar. So uh, this is my first set above seven or above 600. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with uh, my Mark Bell knee wraps, and I'll show you how to wrap these. Uh, always start off with the leg flexed. Start off right below the knee. That's the last instruction I'm gonna give you because I gotta get serious. <clears throat> Come on, get tight. There you go.
All right, guys, so that's it for our max effort day. Um, like I said at the beginning, we hit some bow bar squats, and on that one, I worked up to 642 and a half. Um, then we followed it up with some belt squat kettlebell swings, some single leg uh, leg presses on the plyo swing from Westside Barbell, and then single leg leg curls as well on the standing leg curl machine from West, Westside Barbell. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's at CJMcFarland17. And then go ahead and give my brother a follow as well. And it's at Max Strength and Performance. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll, send, I'll be uploading another one probably of uh, our upper body workout later this week.